Hey everybody, we're gonna make some tube animals today. Aren't they just the cutest little things? I just love them. Right, what we're gonna need is cardboard, tube, some eyes on embellishments, some glue, a pencil to draw and a sharpie for after, and some paint and obviously a paintbrush. So tube animals, these are the steps. Number one, we're going to design what we're drawing. Number two, we're gonna paint them white. Don't have to do that if you don't want. Then we're gonna fold them and draw them. Then we're gonna paint them again with a couple of layers of paint. And then we're going to stick on all the bits and pieces that we'd like to. So these are some of the designs I did. Number one, little piggy. I did a cute little unicorn. Maybe a little owl. Um, a little dog. Oh, what's coming next? Let's guess the animal. Oh, it's a cat. Uh, what's this one going to be? Oh, it's a cow. Moo. Uh, what's going to come next? Lucky last. Oh, it's a cute little fox. So those are the designs. Now, here we go. I'm going to paint my tubes first. Boom! Whoa! That was magic! Tell me you're magic! Alright, to make the rears, we fold in the cardboard. So we push one side, then the other side, and just squeeze the little ends to make little ears out of them. Right, next, we're going super fast forward here. I just do my designs. This is going to be a little piggy. I'm just going to lightly draw my designs on them. My next one is a unicorn, so I decide I'm going to cut, uh, cut out the piggy nose first. Then the unicorn, I'm cutting out his horn and maybe a little tail as well. And then the last one is going to be, oh, there we go, that's the tail. The last one is going to be uh, owl. And the owl is pretty simple, just draw on little eyes, little beak, give him a little belly, and some feathers all the way across the back. Right, so what's next? Now we're gonna paint. This is pretty satisfying. Oh, I gotta love that pink going on. Pinkity pink. Paint the whole piggy little pink. Then I decided that I didn't really like the color of the pink on his nose, so I decided to make it a little darker. So I just painted that little nose a little bit darker just to make it a bit different. For the unicorn, I gave it another coating of white just to make it super slick and nice and opaque. I don't want it to be transparent, so I'm nice and white that unicorn. And then I painted his tail, a nice shade of pink. His little unicorn horn, a little bit of yellow. Looking good. There we go. That was quick dry. All right, then I painted his nose. I'm going to mix up a nice purple for the bridge of his nose. I decided to give the unicorn a bit of a belly. And of course, you've got to do little pink cheek spots. Oh, so cute. Next, I painted the owl blue. Nice and blue. You can paint him anything. You can paint him brown. If you want to have a realistic one, give him some pink eyeballs, purple feathers, a little bit of darker red there. That's lovely, isn't it? Oh, oh, where did that little guy come from? Anyway, I did make a fox too. Here I'm sticking on all the bits once they dried. I decided that I was going to put pom-poms for a mane for my unicorn. So I've got a few of those little pom-poms, stick them on. Looking good. Put in, put in his horn. It's much easier. So there we go, I have our little piggy. I'm using a texture just to put in his eyeballs, drawing his little nose holes and his cute little mouth. Oh, cute little piggy, he went to market. Don't go to market, people, stay home. And here go his eyeballs. Cute owl, owls, got big eyes, so we can see at night. Oh, you can see I'm, I'm drawing on top of the wet paint, so my texture's getting a little bit Munted. These little details all around his eyes. You can make your your um, owl a little more interesting. I'll, maybe I would have done a few more spots and dots on him just to make him a bit cuter. There's my owl. Now you'll see that I, I did a fox in the background. I was bored waiting for everything to dry and I had an extra tube so I decided I'd do a little fox too. The fox was pretty easy to do. It just was his orange and white. All right, so there goes the cute little unicorn. I love the unicorn. That was my favorite one. It came out the best. Drawing around all of his shapes. Give him a little bit of eyeballs. Oh, he's sleeping, unicorn. Oh, I've got a cute little sleepy face. Some nostrils so he can breathe. And there's his tail. A little bit of details on his tail. Super cute. Oh, my unicorn. So my favorite. 
All right, Mr. Fox, Mr. Fox, not quite dry yet. But I just went for it anyways. Destroying my textures. It's my, what I do for a living, destroy textures. Go, Sharpie, go. All right, give him a few little furry bits. Eyeballs. Give him a little cute little nose. Oh, destroying my texture some more. There we go. Decided that he knew he was a bit boring, so I gave him a few little bit more texture with some hair. You could do this with paint if you'd like to. But it actually turned out really nice. See, I like it just with a little black, little bits of fur. Now he, I've, I decided that he needed uh, a tail, so I quickly made him a tail, and I also decided to give him some googly eyes, just because I had them and I forgot to use them for the others. They looked a little bit funny, so I actually preferred all the animals without the googly eyes. But anyway, I stuck on some googly eyes anyway. So there we have it, the most cutest little tube animals ever. And they're just so satisfying to make. I loved every minute of it. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the project. Bye.